Well, the annual Bill Parrish Family Memorial 3-on-3 basketball tournament is just kicking off at Hope Arena in Pogatello. It's a real team effort to save lives. Local News 8's Linda Larson is there live to find out what this means to the community. That's right. Things are off and running here at the Holt Arena for the three on three basketball tournament. Now, this is an event that is a lot of fun for the community, but it didn't start out that way. It started out as a tragedy, and I'm joined right now by Jensen. Jensen, uh, it was you were on your mission when you found out um, what had happened to your family. An unbelievable tragedy, but somehow you guys have been able to turn it around. Talk a little bit about what you've done and, and why this means so much to you. Yeah, so um, when I was serving a mission back in 2014, I um, heard that my parents and my two youngest brothers had died in a carbon monoxide poisoning accident, and we didn't have any carbon monoxide detectors, which could have easily saved their lives. And so because of that, we have established the Bill Perry three on three basketball tournament as well as the NOCO foundation to help spread carbon monoxide poisoning awareness so people can come and play but then also come and learn about carbon monoxide poisoning and become educated in that. How important is it for everyone to have these detectors in their home? Extremely. It's so funny that like we we all have smoke detectors in our homes right and we can see smoke we can smell it but you cannot taste, see, hear carbon monoxide at all. The only way you can know it's there is with a detector. So tell me what the mission is of this foundation. It's to spread carbon monoxide awareness and to educate people and to make sure that not one more life is lost, not one more life um, is lost from carbon monoxide and that everyone gets a detector in their home. Okay, and if they don't have a detector, they can come right up here and get one. Yes, you can come up here and get one. We have um, the first first alert foundation. They have donated some, and so anyone can come and get uh, one so that they can have one in their home. All right, thanks so much, Jensen. Again, now the tournament is going to be going on tonight and into tomorrow. If you want to come up and get one of those detectors, please do it. Please keep your family safe. And reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Linda Larson. All right, thank you, Linda.